What am I doing? I, I can't explain. No, you made me sign for these. You overprescribed for the little old lady. You gave her what she needed and you kept the rest for yourself. Come on, do you really think I'd risk my job my entire life for a black stuff? I need your resource. Ovarian? You have ovarian cancer. Mm-hmm. Faith, please don't lie to me. Come on, how long have you known me? Would I lie to you about something like this? I have ovarian cancer. Stage one, both ovaries, so... My odds are good. Okay, so why didn't you tell me? Because I don't want it to be happening, do I? I didn't want it to be real. I mean, my... My kids have just lost their dad. I can't die in them too. Uh, all right, but why steal diazepam? I mean, surely they must be prescribing you stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course they are, but the pain, Stevie, and the stress, it's just, it's not touching the sides, is it? Just give me a wee second, okay? Look, why don't you go home? People would understand. Yeah, you, you haven't told anybody, have you? No, no, nobody here. But look, I, I, I did have a word with an oncologist I went to med school with, oh, who's, okay. yeah, I know, I know you're getting the best advice possible, but they're really in the know when it comes to clinical trials, no. and I was like, no. Sylvie, no. stop, okay? Look, I can't talk about this. Hey, okay. um, hi, I'm just gonna cut to the chase, okay? You are a single working mum with ovarian cancer, so you cannot do this on your own, yeah? So if going to the oncologist and holding your hand isn't the kind of help that you want. No, it's not. Okay, I just let me finish. The other help, okay, like, um, Picking up the kids from school or coming round, cooking them meals, uh, correction, buying them takeaways, that kind of help, the practical help, if you need that, if you want that, then I'm there, okay? You just call me. And I'm certain. Why are you doing all shopping or washing? I'm preparing for my future life, Natalia. And frankly, my husband doesn't appreciate me and I want a divorce, so. Funny. Thanks. And the real reason? Uh, no biggie. Your mom just needs a bit of TLC, that's all. Yeah, I bumped into Natalia just now. Really? Where? At your house. I just, you know, pop by to drop her some shopping, do a bit of washing. It's pretty impressive, actually. Okay, thanks, but you don't, you don't have to, you don't have to do that. Did you say it to her? I just said you need a bit of TLC at the minute. Okay, thanks. But, you know, she was asking a lot of questions and, you know, I was just thinking it's probably, it's probably a good idea to tell her because that kid is annoyingly perceptive. Yeah, and if I think the time's right, I will. Okay, just, what's really going on with her? Uh, it's like I said this morning. It's not like I haven't noticed. She's been really up and down. Stevie, Stevie, we, we've got to go. Yeah, I, I, I can't handle any more secrets. Do you know where she is? Yeah, Natalia, she's working and so am I, so it's not a good time, okay? Well, I'm not going anywhere until I see her. You're stubborn and I respect it, so go wait in the staff room. I'll come find you later, okay? Not cancer, Mum. Why didn't you tell me? Oh, sweet baby, because, because I'm, I'm gonna be fine, okay? That's why, because I'm gonna be fine. You can help with Anna, Luke, whatever you need. Oh, my darling, come here, come here. It's okay, it's okay. It's, it's okay. She never needed to know. Oh, she's gonna find out sooner or later. I mean, you know this, chemo's not subtle. There's hair loss and weight loss and skin changes. But please tell me Dr. Penrose has at least prepared you for We're what- never meant to get this far, okay? Just stop, Ryan, stay away from me. And my kids. Hey, um, this is Dr. Nash from the ED. Um, I was just wondering, is Dr. Penrose about? I just wanna uh, talk to her about a patient. Well, when did she go on maternity? Okay, um, has she treated anyone in the last three months or? No, 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 it's okay, it's, it's probably a, just a 
problem at our end, so. Yeah, no worries, thank you. Thanks. These daily treatments, I mean, they're exhausting enough without having to cope with you. I'm a nightmare, I know. <laughs> Are you, um, have you seen her today? I mean, they're closing the title, in it? Daily treatment. Guys, Winston Churchill's are winding up. Come in. Can you just give me some space here? She's my best friend. I mean, why would she lie about something like that, like having cancer? That's... Because she's an addict. That's what addicts do. That's what she did to me. What are you doing? What are you, why are you hovering over me? Just let me do my job. What if you can't do your job, Faith? What if you're putting patients' lives at risk? What the hell does that mean? It means you lied to me earlier. Oh, Dr. Penrose? Ian was right. You're an addict. You've lost your mind. No, no, Faith. I haven't lost my mind. I know that you shouldn't be here, so please, Faith, don't make me. Don't make you what? Huh? You know what I'm saying. And what proof do you have? Exactly. So don't go pointing fingers or I'll have you for defamation and don't you think I won't? Oh dear, you want my silence? Please don't lie to me. I did it again and again and here we are. It's okay. I just wish you could have come to me with this. Do external pace? What? The battery's not charged. What do you mean? I thought you were getting another one. I just that I forgot. You forgot? If, if you hadn't interrupted me. No, 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 don't start that. Okay, get me another 500 micrograms of atropine, please. Give it. Okay. Now get out. Huh? Leave Faith. I'm your best mate. And instead of spinning some story about having cancer, you could have come to me for help and you didn't. Why? I couldn't. Stevie. Yeah, so I have to speak to Max. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. I'm begging you, I'm begging you. Please, don't, please, please. Please, please, don't, please, please. Please, don't, please, please, please. Please, please, please. Okay. If it's not for me, then think about the kids. What? What's going to happen to the kids? Come on. I'm thinking about your kids. I'm thinking about your kids and you and Ian and all the patients you've treated. You need serious help. No, no, no. You walk in there. I'll take you down with me. You knew, you knew, and you let me treat those patients. You're responsible as well. Yep. That's something I'll have to live with. Stevie, stop. You'll never work again. You realise that your career will be over. We'll never work again. Stop, stop. Okay, stop. Okay. Please don't do anything. Okay, I'll, I'll walk out. I'll go home right now, please. Please, I'll get better. You're the only one that can help me get better. Please stop. Please don't do this to me. Please, please help me. You, can, you, you said you loved me. I love you. I do. Faith. Hi, Faith. This is Laura Tishmaro from the NMC. I need to inform you that if you continue to fail in your compliance with us, there'll be rather more extreme consequences to the board's decision. Your best friend has cancer and you can care less. No, she doesn't have cancer. Your mother is an addict. She's a drug addict. She's been lying and stealing for the past few months because that's what addicts do. Stevie was right. You... You let me believe you'd... cancer. How... How could you do that to your own kid? I'm sorry. You're sick. Please, no, darling, please. No, no! You're a liar. You're an addict. I'm an addict! I don't want to be there, Stevie. Don't. Please, please help.
me. Please. Please help me. Please, I'm sorry. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so Please help me. Please help me. Please. It's okay. I'm so sorry. Um, why don't you go try to get some sleep? I'll sort this place out, okay? Please go home, sleep, and uh, I can pick you up something on the way back, like some soup or something. Yeah, sure. I'll go, uh, yeah, uh, I'll go home. Thanks. Okay. I wasn't... Don't worry. Pathetic. I'm in, just to, just to stop the fitting. I'm in. Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, yeah, she stopped breathing. I'm gonna get the trolley. She's in respiratory rest. This is my fault. Do not help us to be. I thought she was pathetic. Okay, let's go straight to intubation. Quickly, please. How's she doing? She's um, sleeping off. It's not your fault. When Dylan asked what she was taking, I don't know, Coke, Speed, whatever that was cut with. I thought it was absolutely smashing it. So cocky, I thought, yeah, I'm a doctor. How hard can it be? I'll just lower her dose. Would you mind getting me the list of those rehab centers? You sure? Yeah, she needs proper help. I can't give it to her, though. So. 